Out of all of the LEGO Minecraft sets that have ever existed, there's one set that stands out in particular to me, and not in a good way. This set is a pillager outpost. This set is a pillager outpost set that doesn't even include the tower. It was quite lazy of LEGO and the builds themselves are really small and it doesn't contain many pieces. But is this set the worst of all LEGO Minecraft sets? Let's take a look at that. So let's start where it released. All the way back in 2020, we got the Pillager Outpost. It was quite an exciting set because we got pillagers in it and they were pretty cool with their new crossbows and the new mold and prints. We had seen them before in the Illager raid and so it wasn't exclusive. We also had got a new Iron Golem, which was pretty cool. I gotta agree. I think it was better than the other one, although it just had, didn't have as, as much printing as the old one which is quite odd to me, you'd think that they'd upgrade the printing instead of downgrading it. But still, it had more of a proper Iron Golem motion to it, whereas the old one had it so it just went round, this one actually went up and down like a real Iron Golem in the game. I think the actual head print is better on the Iron Golem in this one, and yeah. We didn't actually get normal pillagers in the Illager raid, we got a pillager captain, but to be honest, if you just take off the banner, you're going to get the same thing. But this one was more a bit like a battle pack for Star Wars. It was basically having two pillagers and an iron golem. So if you bought several of them, you could make your army of pillagers because it wasn't the most expensive set ever. So the minifigures have been covered, but we haven't covered the skin yet, which is a pretty nice skin to be honest. It also came with a shield and a nice sword. The skin is actually quite detailed and I have two of them because they're pretty cool skin. The knight skin was really well done and it's probably one of the best minifigures in the set because it was exclusive and was done really well considering what set it was in. And the final minifigure is a sheep, but I'm not sure there's much to talk about that. It was kind of unnecessary. Just another mob there. And that's what got put on the box, which is a bit odd. They probably, with the 2020 wave, they always added a little character on the side of the box in the corner. And I guess I needed to add that to add it onto the side of the box. They could have maybe added a pillager or an iron golem, but they need a, some sort of animal. Like you see in all the other sets, you have like a pig, a chicken, things like that. It's a bit odd, but we got another minifigure in there, so there goes a the sheep. So now that we've got minifigures covered, it's an okay minifigure selection, nothing really that good except for that night minifigure and the pillagers weren't exactly exclusive, but you do get another build with it. But this is where the problem lies. The build has a lot of problems. First of all, this set was advertised as the pillager outpost, that's the whole name of it. But then you look at a pillager outpost in the game and you can barely recognise it. Now, yes, they did do the outer builds quite well. They do look like the ones in the game. But when you search a pillager outpost, you're not finding those builds. You're finding lots of different pillager towers. The towers in the game is a main part of it. It's a central area. It's where everything revolves around in this outpost. This is what everyone was talking about when the pillagers came out. The outpost was amazing, has lots of loot, banners everywhere and it's just a really nice structure that's done really well by Minecraft. But it never got transformed into Lego form. When they decided to make a pillager outpost for some reason that I don't know, they decided to just make the outer builds. Now I feel that's a bit lazy and it did like just take away from us the pillager outpost that we could have got. I feel like they should have made it so it's a larger set. They could have had a smaller set with the outer builds and a larger set with the tower. I know it wouldn't get as many sales, but it would just look better on Lego's like shelves and in the Lego Minecraft theme, it looked more like they tried with it. And also, it's just something that looks amazing and would fit really well into a Lego Minecraft world because when you're building a world with that set, it doesn't really feel like a pillager outpost. It feels like a few builds in the corner and that's it and you don't really want to display it like outwardly because it's just not much to display. Yet if we got a big pillager outpost set with over a thousand pieces, it could even be the largest set they ever made. It would be amazing. It would be something to look at in that world. It'd be the one thing that catches your eye and you're like, wow, that's a great set. But then they just decided to go with the outer builds. I feel like this just wasn't the right decision by Lego. It was a great set they could have made there. 
the build in Minecraft was a perfect build. It was actually one of the best natural structures I've seen since probably the village. And they just lazed out on it. I am really not very happy about this set. Could it be the worst though? So that's the question we needed to answer with this video. Now all of our evidence is concluding that it could be a really bad set. But is it the worst? Well, that's quite hard to say. It could actually be considered the worst because of the potential it had and it didn't deliver. When you have a natural structure in Minecraft, you want it to deliver on what it looks like in the game. But the game doesn't really look like what that did. You don't just have natural structures, you have the tower. The whole point of Lego Minecraft is so you're able to build your world in Lego. But without giving us the right stuff, the right natural structures from the game, you're basically limiting us from making what we want to do. Now, it does also inspire some creativity, I know, because that makes people want to make it themselves. But having it in a set form, it's always even better. It's something made by professionals, and that you can follow instructions, and it could be one of the best sets that you have. When it's made by professionals, it undergoes lots of checks, and it's done really well. But this set just didn't fall through. It just wasn't good enough. It didn't deliver on what we wanted to see from this amazing build in the game. And all we saw was a cage, a little statue things, some little scarecrows, and a little hut. That isn't really what we wanted to see from this. Now, the minifigures in the set are okay. You get two pillagers, an exclusive skin, and an iron golem. That's pretty good. But the set just isn't good enough. Now, I feel like I've ranted on about the set way too much, and I should probably give it a little bit of praise before we sign off. Now, I'm going to say the minifigures are good. I'm going to say that right now. The pillagers are cool. The knight is also cool. The iron golem is cool. It's a nice set. I can't lie. It's got some good minifigures. And the structures they have made are accurate to the game. They're pretty good and made quite well, especially the scarecrows and that cage. But yeah, I think that it's an okay set. It has a huge downside to it, but it has its few advantages, like those nice pillagers and the cool skin. I think that they could have done a bit more with the set, but I think they did it how they did it. It, it just isn't what we wanted to see, but the minifigures were quite nice. So that's a little bit of praise I'm going to give it, but still, it's not the best set. I'm not sure if it's the worst though. There are a few sets that I think would be worse considering mob houses and stuff. At least we did get a pillage outpost in some way. But yeah, that's what I think of this set. It was a bit of a waste of a natural structure that we could have got an amazing set of. It was a cool build that was in the game and could have been done really well. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe up there. There's another video down there. Really hope you enjoyed. See you all next time.